everyone, it's Tom Glubick here from Autodesk Australia uh, and welcome to the next video in our series on doing a project uh, inside the Autodesk AEC collections. So far we've uh, had a look at doing uh, the piping portion of our project uh, and just to sort of get to the point where we might ask or be asked to do some reports. So last week we uh, had a look at the data manager inside uh, the plant software, but what we're going to have a look at today is one of the files or applications that gets installed with Plant 3D, uh, and it's the report creator. So when you install it, you will obviously have this uh, Plant 3D report creator. Now on, on first uh, launch, you will get asked on where the, re the report config files go. You can leave them in a general area, which is the default. You can keep them under the project or your own path. For this exercise, I'm just going to keep it under general. So under my project list, I can pull up the this YouTube series. Um, and then I have a list of predefined reports in here. So 3D fixed length pipe, 3D parts, center of gravity, drawing list, equipment list, line list, valve list, or even weight. Um, I'm just going to do 3D parts. Now clicking on edit means that you've got a few options on what you're querying and the layout. So we'll go through that in a second. I'm doing one report for the whole project. You can do it per drawing or per object. My target file is just going to be a PDF, but you, you can see you've even got Excel or even text files in this and where they will live. Um, and then if we click on edit query, this is what um, my report is going to include. So if I click on test query results, uh, don't have any issues there. And as well, clicking on show filter examples, um, we'll just give us some examples. So here's my query result. So again, as far as I'm concerned, no issues. Uh, I also have the option to query on PNID classes, the drawings, or the 3D classes. So obviously for this we're just doing the 3D side of it. Now the report layout is something that you can sort of get lost in. Um, not in a bad way, but you, you could always just uh, sit there for a day or so and just go through all of the different options on how to make your report uh, look how you want it. So this is the out of the box one. Um, it obviously has the Autodesk logo here, but we can go through and change it. If you click on it, uh, we can change the, the bitmap image there for it. Uh, we've got the different headers there as well. So again, for this exercise, I'm just going to leave it as, as it is. And then also down here, we've got um, grouping and sorting options down here as well. So again, I'm not really going to bother too much with this video just to, to show you sort of all I want to do is just show you the, the sort of overview um, and then I guess uh, you could get into it when you do get some more time. Once you've finished your report, you can come in under the print preview tab at the top left here uh, and it will show you what the report is going to look like. So this is just basically going to be everything uh, or even a HTML view. I'm not really fussed on the HTML view, but I know that uh, if I need to, I can see this. So just coming out of the report designer. So again, I'm just going to leave it as is. And then you can see here, if I was doing drawing data, I can select the drawings as well, but I'm just doing project data. If I go pre preview, then there's my report there. So here I've got 87.86 meters of seamless three inch ASME plane end pipe. Uh, I've got eight eccentric four inch by three inch reducers. Um, we've got 22 stud bolts at 107 long, 79 stud bolts at 88.9 long. So again, these are all inside the project. So we'll be able to see. So again, this can be run at any time. Uh, you can run it once a week. You can run it once a month, whenever you need to. Or you can just run it uh, whenever someone asks you for it. So clicking on print export just takes me directly to that. So it tells me that it was placed inside uh, the project itself. So if we go into my project, Autodesk, YouTube series, reports, 
and then there's my report. So again, this is just a PDF file, but I can also export a text file uh, from this as well. So that's the report creator in a nutshell. Uh, again, it's part of the install of Plant 3D. So when you install Plant inside the collections, you get Plant 3D, the spec editor, uh, and the report creator. So uh, that way it, it is three icons uh, within the, the, the software. So thanks for watching. Uh, next week we're going to crack open Advanced Steel and have a look at importing and exporting and then get into a little bit more detail in regards to Advanced Steel. Hit like if you like the video, dislike if you like, don't like it. Feel free to subscribe and click on the little bell icon to get notifications. See you next week.